This video will help you with the initial setup of your Peplink Balance Router. We're going to start by logging into the router, then we'll change our passwords and edit our Wi-Fi settings. If you're looking for assistance with a specific feature, check out our channel for more how-to videos. Connect a computer using an Ethernet cable plugged into one of the LAN ports. If your Balance Router supports Wi-Fi, you may alternatively connect using the default Wi-Fi name and password. To find the password, look to the bottom of the Peplink Balance Router and there will be a label. Refer to the AP password here. The Wi-Fi name will be peplink, then an underscore followed by the last four characters of the router's serial number, which is also found on the bottom label. Once you are connected to the router, you'll open a web browser on your computer. In the address bar where you would normally type in 5gstore.com, type 192.168.1.1 and hit enter. Upon this initial connection, your browser may alert you that the website you're about to access is not trusted. Depending on the browser you're using, you'll select advanced options and then the option to proceed anyway just like shown here in Google Chrome. After the alert is bypassed, you should be taken to the login page for the router's administration settings. Enter the default credentials, which is admin for both the username and password. Next, you will be prompted to enter in the default login password and create a new password. As stated here, the new password must be at least 10 characters long. Once entered, hit Save and Apply, followed by OK. If your router supports Wi-Fi, you will need to enter in a new Wi-Fi password as well. Optionally, you can change the Wi-Fi SSID or, in other words, the name that it broadcasts. In either case, if you are currently connected via Wi-Fi, you will need to reconnect with a new name and or password after the settings are saved. Once entered, hit Save and Apply, followed by OK. Simply refresh the list of Wi-Fi networks your computer is seeing, then select the new one and enter the password. You may also need to refresh the administration page or log back in at this point. Now that our passwords are changed, the last thing we can do is to adjust the Wi-Fi security settings on any Wi-Fi supported routers. From the administration dashboard page, click on the AP tab at the top. Find the Wi-Fi SSID that you're using and click on it. Refer to the security settings section and find security policy. For the highest level of security, set this to WPA3 Personal. If any devices have issues connecting, adjust this instead to WPA2 slash WPA3 Personal. Click Save when you're done, and then click Apply Changes at the top right. You may be disconnected from the Wi-Fi again, in which case you'll simply need to reconnect. That sums up our first time setup of the Peplink Balance Routers. We hope you found this helpful and welcome you to subscribe to our channel for more information like this. Thank you for watching.